So I, uh, my path is a little indirect because I'm also doing a PhD down at Columbia. So I started in 2012, so this is at this point five years ago, did my first year of law school at Columbia, and then during the course of doing my two years of coursework for the PhD, you know, I, I had decided that I really wanted to focus on becoming a legal academic and was talking to professors, um, even at Columbia. And I had a fantastic experience at Columbia. Um, you know, it wasn't because I didn't enjoy Columbia, but there was just a sense that, and now I understand why, that Yale would really be the place to be if I wanted to be an academic, particularly one that, that focused on, on experiments and empirical work like I do. And I am in charge of the, the parents' Uh, branch of, of our older, wiser law students uh, group. And so we organize events, uh, sometimes just for families and kids, sometimes uh, events uh, trying to help people who are, who are going to start families, informational events. Uh, we've had alums come in and talk about why it might be a good idea. If you, if you know you're going to have kids, why it might be a good idea to have to start having kids in law school, even though that may seem kind of crazy. Um, I think it's a good idea. Uh, I also am part of a religious organization, the, the Mormon LDS group um, here at Yale. And then I, this isn't a Yale Law School group, but I, I play rugby for the Yale grad school team, uh, which is open. It's, I'd never played rugby before this year. I uh, just saw them at one of the, uh, the student group fairs and uh, I thought I would come out. And it was a lot of fun. It's a fun group. And I remember Pretty early on, my first semester here, I was working on a paper and was going to a conference in Washington, D.C., and I wanted to kind of practice my presentation. And so I mentioned that there's this listserv at Yale called The Wall, and it's, uh, it's, it's really the most functional listserv I've ever seen. And I, I just posted. I mean, I, I barely knew anybody outside of the other transfer students. And I said, hey, you know, I'm presenting this paper. It's an empirical piece. Um, you know, if anybody has any time, I'd love to, you know, Kind of do a mock presentation and get your feedback. And I had like six people show up. I didn't know these people, right? They didn't know me, but they came and not only did they listen to the presentation, but they had they understood it and they had feedback. And I mean, half of them had experience in empirics, the other half had experience in the substantive topic I was talking about, and it was just such a good one. Great preparation for for the conference. Uh, I, I made some changes that I think were were good that I was able to implement in the conference, and two, just you know. It was an hour. I mean, we spent an hour there just, it was like on a Tuesday night. I didn't know anybody, right? And they just showed up and were willing to, to spend that time with me. And, uh, you know, some of those people have become good friends. And it was just, it was, it was, it was really nice to know right, right from the beginning that this was an environment where you could, you could do that kind of thing and expect help and responses uh, that easily. And uh, it just set a really good tone for me. Uh, for the rest of the time I've been here.